The last two years were the most successful in North Central women's tennis history, winning the CCIW tournament and qualifying for the NCAA tournament in both. But despite most of the core of those teams having graduated and a squad this year that included six freshmen, neither the team's talent nor expectations saw any drop off. I mean, just seeing the growth even over the last three years, um, I think we all just have a really good mindset and like we want to compete and we want to work as hard as possible, not only for ourselves, but for each other. I think also just being a younger team has allowed us to be a lot closer. And I think that's helped us on the road and even just yeah, throughout the spring, throughout the whole year. I mean, in terms of tennis, they, they didn't come in as freshmen, which is obviously um, when you lose four in your lineup from the year before and six off a, off a second place team and probably the best team in program history and, and one up it this year um, is it, it's a testament to the it's a testament to the ladies and how hard they work and what they're about and 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 the the future and trajectory of our program. Coming into high school, I had a team with like a lot of upperclassmen, and so I looked up to them um, really uh, like a lot. And so coming into here, um, with it being like a very um, young team, it was hard to adjust at first. Um, but you know, looking up into like how our team dynamic works now, it's it's really nice to have some young people because we get to like um, see each other as like as the same and you know there's there's no mother figures um, on the team but we can just see each, see each other as friends. The Cardinals were as dominant as ever in the regular season sweeping through the CCIW with a perfect 8-0 record capped off by three straight sweeps to win a third straight conference tournament. The more burnt out they got and the more tired they got and the more stress they got from everything outside of tennis the better they got. They got tougher, they got better um, when it mattered. And, and yeah, we threw them through a gauntlet of a spring and they knew that and we knew that confidence was gonna be really hard and that was something that we preached all year with you know with six freshmen. But um, when when it came time to show up, they, they showed up in a big way and that was kind of what we were expecting for given the, the tests that they had you know in February, March. In the opening round of the NCAA tournament, the Cardinals kept their impressive record going with a 5-0 sweep of Hope College to advance to the second round for the second straight year. The lineup remained unchanged through the impressive postseason run. Panados and Natalie Bassett, Anastasia Bozovic and Kensington Payne, and Patience and Michaela Equibon as the three doubles teams, and Panados, Bassett, Payne, Equibon, Patience, and Kayla McSweeney in singles. I know we had a little bit of a challenge playing Hope in the first round. We all kind of started a little bit slow, but with the collective energy that we could build, we um, grew from that and then we're able to be successful. In the postseason, it really is about making that last step and trying to get as far as we can. Uh, and I think we all really know that and take that to heart in every match. In what was a remarkable season for the young team all around, freshman Abigail Panado stood out as she became the first player in program history to qualify for the NCAA singles tournament. It was an achievement that capped off an incredible year where she posted an overall record of 49 and 9 across singles and doubles. I kind of just like jumped into a big pool of sharks, you know, putting into one as a freshman, which usually doesn't work out um, at the time, but um, it was cool having to adjust to um, the speed of different players and it was nice getting to um, see improvement in my game from the fall into the spring. Yeah, what a kid. Um, we, we knew she was good, right? Like she's every bit of the real deal as, as you can get in Division Three tennis. Um, you know, she she's composed, she's a good teammate, she works hard, um, but I think the coolest part about her and I think what makes her so successful, there's no ego. Playing the top spot has a leadership role in and of itself and as a freshman, it's a tough ask. And and to qualify and to, and to have the season that she had um, speaks a lot to her and, and speaks a lot to where our program's going and couldn't be more proud of her. It was really cool. I mean, I didn't even know there was a tournament like this. And so my like expectations coming into college was um, getting like winning the, our conference tournament and that was really it for me. And so seeing that I made it into this big tournament, I was, I was really shocked. Now I can like make my standards higher than it was before. The entire postseason lineup will return next season, with Patience the only rising senior among them and another strong recruiting class on the way. 
Winning the conference and qualifying for the NCAA tournament have now become the minimum goals for this team, and they're eager to show how much further they're capable of going in the coming years. I think as a group, um, we all just need to literally just dig our heels in and see how much further we can go. Um, we know now what's possible, and it's no longer like, oh my goodness, we're here. It's, we're here now, how can we go further? And now we just have to raise the bar a little bit in our speed and just throughout the year, like focusing on ourselves, because um, we have the team dynamic. We just have to focus on ourselves a little more and see how much further we can go. It's unique because you, you hear that cliche expression of the goal is the standard. And with this group, like I genuinely believe that. And I think that they do too. And, and that's what makes it really cool. But um, you know what makes it hard, and, and we kind of talked about it at the end of the year, and we're going to talk about it again when they move in in August, it's, you know, what, what are you doing to separate yourself from everybody else? Like, sure, you know, we can, we can crack the top ten in the region, we can win the league and, and win around at the NCAA tournament, but, you know, what, what are we looking at to get to the Sweet 16? What are you looking at to stay in the top five in the region, you know, top five, top six? And, um, you know, when it, it, it ultimately comes down to a lot of self-accountability and, and, and ultimately how much you want to make each other better. And, and with the depth and, and, and what we're looking to add with, with next year's group, I think it's, it's attainable. I think right now my goals are pretty high and my standards are pretty high. Um, so I would like to experience this again and again if I can. And I would like to bring the team with me too. So, I mean, over there I got to see it as an individualistic sport, but um, in the future, I'd, I, I'd like to see it as a team sport as well.